It is the morning of September 3rd, and we got the guys set up right here on this hilltop in uh, just a normal hay field. The geese have not been in this field, or even really flying that far from it. This is kind of a long shot, but we don't have any other birds anywhere else to hunt, so we're just going to be uh, trying to traffic some birds in here. We did go to a, we had plans to hunt another field this morning over in Pennsylvania and got beat to the field, so that's just part of hunting. But luckily, old Zane man had something up his sleeve over here, so we joined him. And if we shoot a goose this morning, it'll be a successful hunt. So we'll see what happens. We're running a bunch of uh, silhouettes and a couple full bodies. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shooters. And of course, it's early season in New York. We're each allowed seven shots, 15 birds a man. That's pretty wishful thinking on a morning like this, though. There's probably 200 birds or so on the lake, so there is a lot of birds in the area. All we need is them to fly over or fly around us, and hopefully we can decoy some in here. With uh, our awesome calling, we should be able to get some yearlings in here. Anybody else have anything to say? Thanks, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what happens, folks. Thanks for watching. Well folks, that's a wrap on this morning's epic goose hunt. Uh, it was a success. We killed two birds. We had, uh, as you saw in the video, two geese cupped right into the decoys and we shot them up. Uh, we had another flock 
uh, skirt us and go right over us, just a little too high out of range. And uh, they weren't having it and they just kept going, but that was our morning. You know, sometimes you'll have mornings like this, especially in September, if the birds get shot up real bad, opening morning or, you know, the first two days, they're not really uh, comfortable even leaving their water spots and coming to fields. So you just kind of try to have to get in between where they're, where they're bouncing from and try to, I mean, traffic some birds in. So it is what it is, but I'm gonna show you the good, bad, and the ugly. And this one was, hey, we shot geese, so I'm not complaining. I might go over to a uh, gravel pit this evening and do a little more hunting, so this video might not be over yet. Thanks for watching. We are to the gravel pit now for the evening hunt. Uh, I'm not really sure how many birds are in here. We obviously shot them up pretty bad opening day. I'm right back in the same pond that we hunted. I'm on the other side on a sandbar now. And uh, we're just gonna try to catch them on their way back to roost this evening. Like I said, I don't know if any are coming back or or what, but Kaylee and I didn't have anything else to do, so we figured we'd come out here and enjoy the evening. So if we kill a goose, it's a bonus. If we don't kill a goose, well, we enjoyed our evening out here looking over the water. I have a whopping three goose decoys out here in front of me. And I pulled up this, uh, tree branch right here and tried to cover us up a little bit. Either way, we're gonna enjoy our evening. Hopefully we see some geese. Okay folks, that's going to be a wrap on our uh, little evening goose hunt. It was a success. We uh, heard and saw one goose all night and uh, came right in and shot it right before uh, legal shooting hours were up. So worked out pretty good. We enjoyed the evening and uh, even got to shoot a goose out of the deal. So we're going to have more goose hunts coming shortly. So be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Appreciate everybody watching. I'll see you, in a, see you on an upcoming video. Thanks, everybody. Of course, all the geese decided to come in after legal shooting hours. Just our luck. Guess I'm happy we got one.